everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I have two really exciting brand new kits from Tamiya. Uh, first up, we have the 35th scale British cruiser tank, the A34 Comet, which is this one right here. Uh, I know a lot of people are gonna be excited about this one. And this one right here, if you're a motorcycle fan, you're gonna love this. This is the brand new 12 scale Ducati that Tamiya is just releasing. Now, both of these kits are obviously in their box form, so they're not test shots. They are in production, and from what I understand, they're due here in the United States sometime in October. I've heard different things, some say October, some say November, but let's just call it coming soon. So uh, both of them will be out very, very soon. So today we're gonna t open up both these kits, tear into them, show you all the really nice parts inside, and have a little fun looking at all the pretty pictures. So let's get started. Well, here it is, another brand new 35th scale armor kit from Tamiya. And I know my friends across the pond will be uh, chomping at the bit to get a hold of this one, as well as people around the world. But uh, we are going to take a look at the 35th scale British cruiser tank, the A34 Comet from Tamiya. And very nice looking box art. It looks like they went away from the, uh, the solid white box with having that green stripe across the top. And also you'll see here too, we've got some of the color profiles on the side, but that's all of course duplicated inside the kit as well. And you will actually get two figures inside here as well, a commander and a loader. So let's take a look at the plastic. We are gonna start off with the, the big sprue here, which has our, uh, our lower hull as well as the figures. And of course, this is not a bathtub style hull, but that was done so that it can get some of the extra detailing that they need to put in all of these little pieces in here. That would have been really difficult to do, even with slide molding on it. But I'm just gonna get in there tight and let you look at all of the, uh, the nice detail. And since this one's got some detail on the other side, we'll flip it over. Why don't you take a closer look at that too. And that is actually, that's not sprue A, that's sprue B. Next up, we have our sprue C and more of the lower hull as well as part of the turret. And you'll also notice here, this is not slide molding right here. This is done in a way that they've curved the mold around part of the side here and that is protecting it so when it gets stacked up in there you won't be having any flexing or any damage to the actual kit part this does look like this is slide molded right here could be wrong yeah i think it probably is or it could just be there to help protect that it's kind of hard to tell on this one this doesn't look slide molded because it needs the the bottom of the mold to complete that but we'll just take a closer look at all of these parts now There you go. Next up we have, this should be our ace brew. Yes, this is our ace brew. So this is going to be duplicated. So there are gonna be two of these inside of the kit. And this is gonna have your long length of track and the individual links right here. So with that combination, it's a really nice way of putting together these tracks. It's uh, obviously not as simple as the rubber bands, but these are very, very nice when they're done and they hold up a lot better than the rubber bands do. So we're gonna let you take a look at all of these parts. And we'll flip those around too, let you see the other side. There we go. So once again, 
two of those sprues come inside this kit. And lastly, we have our last main sprue here, the big ones. There is one of the little tiny one that I'll show you that has all the clear parts, but this is it for all of the main tank parts themselves. So a grand total of four different types of sprues or five total on here. And we have our barrel, of course, which has a two part muzzle brake, but the rest of the barrel is all one piece. And then I'll just let you look at all of these parts here. This thing's really bouncing around a lot. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I don't accidentally knock it off, but let you look at the other side of the sprue here, see if there's any detail we need to see. There it is. And finally, we have our little clear parts piece here that has all of like the, uh, the glass for the, the lights and maybe one vision block there too. That looks like a vision block right there. So get you nice and close on that. There it is. And now we can look at all of the other stuff that comes inside the kit. Now we are going to look at all of the paper products that come inside the kit, starting off with the decal set. And you can see right here, two different sets of markings. Uh, not a heck of a lot other than the white star with the circle around it up on the front and a few other little names. You also get inside the kit this color profile chart, which I folded wrong here, but uh, it's a color profile plus a little bit of history. Now on the very front page here, you have it in Japanese, but uh, keep in mind they'll be inside German, English, and French. And then, of course, when you open up inside here, it gives you a breakdown of how the decals actually go. And once again, very simple, but it's nice to see the color chart. And also they're calling out XF61 or TS2 dark green for the color on this. And also, like I do on all of the other preview kits, we're going to take a quick look at the instructions. That way it'll give you an idea how you think it'll go together and how much difficulty it'll be for you. But being a Tamiya kit, I think you're going to find that it's going to be a very, very easy to put together kit and very simplified. But now we'll just show you all of the instructions. And of course, with all of these, that if you want to take a longer look at any one page, you can always just hit pause on the device you're watching this on. And there is our link and uh, link and length track right there. And that's it. That completes all the paper products that come inside the new A34 Comet kit. And next up, I have what I consider probably some of the most beautiful looking plastic kits on the market. And that is Tamiya's motorcycles. They're 112 scale and not, not a ton of parts to speak of. It's not like some thousand kit part, but the, the way everything looks on the sprue is just absolutely gorgeous. And I've, I've built a few of the motorcycles over the years and uh, I'm not even really into motorcycles in real life. I just think they're that beautiful and now we have the new from Tamiya the Ducati 112 scale uh, hopefully this is the way it's pronounced the Super Leggera V4 
and it is gorgeous looking. I've obviously already opened all the parts and taken a look at them, and I think you're gonna love the way this is done. And when this says this is a highly detailed static display model, they are 100% right. And a lot of it goes together with screws too, so a lot of it is like the suspension kind of works on it because there's a real spring in there, but uh, you'll be able to see all that when I show you the instructions. So let's take a look at the plastic parts now. And we're going to just dive right in to the plastic. And it, plastic comes in a couple of different colors, black, white, and silver, kind of based on the way the actual real part would be. So most of these parts here are going to be black when you paint them. So you've already got a nice black base on here. And I am just going to show you, look at, look at the brake calipers there, all drilled out. Beautiful looking. And our, of course, our wheels. There's a big, big fat one and a little skinny one for the front. Yeah, just beautiful looking here. Next up, we have some of the uh, of the frame, it looks like here. And these are all in black as well. And there is some slide molding. To me, it's doing more and more slide molding. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, there we go. And there we are. So we've got the grips, part of that frame. And of course, at the end of the video too, you'll be able to, I have just shots of the sprue that you'll be able to take a look at. Next up, we have the main body parts and it's nice that they've done these in glossy white plastic. So that way the red will go over it very, very well, rather than doing a gray that could dull the gray, uh, the red, red paint down a little bit. But look at some of these body panels here. And how, how many bumps and, and everything. It's just incredible looking. Part of the cowl, it looks like there. Yes, absolutely wonderful looking shapes. This is always, the next brew up is always the one I think is the most incredible looking. And that is the engines that come inside here. So uh, they, they nail these and they just go all out when they're showing you all of the details. So this is the engine sprue and it's done up in a kind of a silver metallic plastic. So you already have the base for painting it when you do. And start off right here with the chain and it's got a little break in it. And that is because you can slide it on over the, the rear wheel. And then I'm just gonna let you look at all of the engine pieces now. Got our front forks. Yeah, look at that right there. So if you're a Ducati fan or a motorcycle, 112 scale motor, you're gonna absolutely love this kit. It is it is wonderful looking. Don't know if there's much detail that you have to take a look at at the back of this engine sprue, but uh, very, very nice. And we have one more black sprue here. And it looks like we've got our tailpipes mirrors things like that let you take an up close look at those and finally we have our clear parts there they are right there flip that around so you can see nice high gloss shiny and of course they always come completely bagged separately so keep them in nice condition and now we're gonna have some of our rubber parts and their rubber tires are incredible looking you can see the difference in between the front and rear wheel we got our rubber right there and also you're gonna get a bag of a couple bags actually these are gonna be a bag of little screws in here another bag of longer screws this is how you like attach the uh, and I know because I've done a couple of these motorcycles this is how you attach the rear and front wheel and then of course we get our spring because it is the suspension works on it you have our spring here a little screwdriver and all of our poly caps just like that oh and one other quick thing we also have all some uh, vinyl tubing here which will work as our brakes our brake lines so now let's take a look at the decals and the instructions and here are all of the, the decal sets that come on here. So we have our main one with our graphics on it. This one over here has some of the real small details. 
uh, and also like the instrument panel. You do get some metallic foil rear view mirrors right there. And those are easily peeled on and off. And actually, I'll move this in a little bit closer too so you can see without some light reflection what those look like. And then here up close is instrument panel, some of those other little things in there. And these are the, the little red lines that go around the actual wheel. And the, let's see if I can peel this off without, yeah, there we go. You can see some of this for the brakes, just like that. And lastly, we're gonna take a quick look as we always do. Let me pull back a little bit here so you can see them at the instructions. And this will give you an idea, even though it looks a little intimidating because of the parts, there is not a heck of a lot. The biggest thing obviously is painting. And this is probably not gonna be that difficult because the entire bike is painted red and then you just put the graphics over it. So let's take a look at those instructions now. And like all their motorcycles, start off with the engine. And like I've told you in the past, I've built a few of these and they, like, once again, look a little intimidating when you look at these instructions, but they really aren't. They actually go together pretty well. And finally, the layout where the decals all go on right there. It's pretty, 38 steps, not too, too bad on it there. Now, normally in the past, I haven't been notified of this yet, but normally Tamiya always does an aftermarket upgrade set, which will entail getting um, all like the front forks and a few other parts out of uh, anodized aluminum parts. Haven't seen that yet, but I have a good feeling that they probably will be coming out for this kit as well. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick look at these two really cool kits from Tamiya. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, both should be out fairly soon. Uh, they will be up for pre-order on our website, andyshhq.com, and our website in Europe, andyshhq.eu. Uh, so I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching, and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.